um, with this pain and sleep deprivation, um, the pain, there's got to be an infection somewhere. CPAP is, I'm losing my teeth from CPAP. There's got to be an infection somewhere. And with this pain, um, falling asleep, ha you know, having my nervous system just wired to the max, right? Um, nervous system damaged from uh, benzo withdrawal, it's, you know, major nerve damage throughout the body, but um, also my nerves, nervous system just shot from being severely sleep deprived long term. So it's like, you know, it's like my nervous system is like plugged into a light socket, you know, it's it's insane that I even fall asleep at all. But I mean, I'm only sleeping, you know, two hours, three hours a night, three and a half, if I'm lucky. Occasionally, every several weeks, I'll have four nights of sleep. And that's, that's the videos where you see that I, I am, you know, happy that I can actually do a little bit of house cleaning or whatever, you know, like I, my mind is just way different. Um, when I've had four hours of sleep and you, you can usually see a serious difference in the, in the videos. Um, the past few nights, the severe sleep deprivation, the nervous system damage, and now this pain has come along when I'm trying to fall asleep. Like tr that moment of drifting off to sleep, I'm almost losing my mind or almost, almost hallucinating, almost like losing, losing control. It's terrifying. That the second I, and it seems to be happening a few times, like, like I'll start to drift off and it'll be like this. And it's like, I'm almost on the verge of hallucinating or something. It's like, I, I, I I'm so ill right now with pain and, uh, coming from the teeth that I'm almost losing it. It's terrifying. I'm, I'm in so much pain at times. I'm almost losing my mind. At times the pain is so blurred. Like it's the skull and the whole entire jaw. Like, and I'm almost losing I'm almost losing my mind. And here's the thing. There's nowhere I can really, there's nothing I can really do. Um, I did get to the dentist. I got, so hopefully this will make, this occurred to me on the way to the dentist today or right before I left. I must be, I must be infected somewhere to, to be this ill, to be this, to have this much pain. There must be infection somewhere. So she x-rayed and said, oh, everything looks fine. There's no infection. I said, but wait, feasibly, could there be infection somewhere and you can't yet see it? Yes. And see, this is what happened the last couple times. I was in so much pain, so much pain, almost losing my mind. And I think the first few times she said, oh, no, it looks fine. It looks fine. And, and the pain. And then I can't remember if she gave me antibiotics or I talked her into antibiotics. And, she, and then the, all the pain eased and everything. And I was okay. I was okay for a few weeks, a few weeks. And then all, all that came back 
and just excruciating pain and begging her for help and hesitated giving me another round of antibiotics. Absolutely, it took away all the pain. Uh, you know, it took everything away for weeks. And like it took months to get into uh, the oral surgeon, right? But man, I mean, this kind of pain can become life life threatening for for people who are really sick, you know. And the doctors have to understand. And it's a very fine line when you when you're trying to tell a doctor you're almost losing your like you're you're in number one you're in so much pain you're almost ready to give up and number two you're literally almost losing your mind and these i mean these doctors can hold hold the keys to the kingdom of life or death right so thankfully she i i didn't go in there thinking i needed an antibiotic this is probably the way to go I was thinking, um, he, you know, that this is what I meant with the previous comment. Uh, that there was nowhere for me to go. This level of pain, you know. I was thinking, like, who could I ask about pain? Like, what can I do? What, where, what could I take? Is there any home remedy? And I was thinking, what, who, like, you know who could I ask and and what would they do in this situation well what a lot of people in this situation would do would is get you know powerful painkillers right I can't take anything that's that's the thing I can't take drugs uh I can't breathe I they affect my breathing right Taking these drugs are, are, can be life-threatening for me. And the doctors do not get this. Um, my, my body doesn't want to breathe when I take drugs. And I thought, what, what would people do? Like I thought of this couple I saw, I know that walked by and I thought, well, they would, if they could get an opioid, they'd take an opioid. You know what? I've got a few opioids here. I can't take drugs. My body doesn't want to breathe. I get respiratory depression. It affects my brain in a way that my brain isn't signaling my body to breathe. Um, people don't get that, that, you know, drugs are life-threatening to some people, right? I would love to take an opioid. I would love to take some big-ass painkiller, right? You know, I'd love to be you know, just make it go away. I can't, you know, same reason I can't take sleeping pills. Doctors think because I have CPAP, they can throw sleeping pills at me. No, no. These doctors don't understand. They don't understand. So thank God I started I started, uh, I just started the antibiotics. <laughs>